Good morning. <laughs> I've got my new mug. I don't remember if we showed this last night. I think we did, um, but we really did buy them. And I've got some new makeup. I got a Sephora yesterday. <laughs> Tyler got a new cleanser he needed. Uh, yeah, so we're getting ready and we're gonna go to Disney Springs for brunch. And then, which is wild because we were just at Disney Springs last night. We don't often, I feel like we don't typically back to back Disney Springs like that. Not that it's that big of a deal, but it just worth reporting. <laughs> anyway, so that's where we're headed. Just spend a little bit of time there and then go to Animal Kingdom. So I'm excited for today. We definitely need lots of coffee. Get more and more tired as each day goes by. We just finished filming and yes, ending the yesterdays that yeah. you've already seen now. But we are heading to Disney Springs, like I said. Uh, gonna do the, yeah, the brunch at Wine Bar, George. I've heard nothing but good things, so I am very pumped about that. Yeah, I've heard really good things too. I was previewing the menu, men, men, I'm tired, guys. <laughs> menu, as you do. And uh, side note, <laughs> my friends were laughing at me the other, well, it was like a few months ago now, because they're like, oh, we always preview the menu and like already know what we want before we go out to eat. And I was like, what? I've never, I don't do that. So now I do. And it's so much less stressful because I'm like, I already know what I want, but I can't believe it never like crossed my mind. I, I don't do that. You don't? Well, I do now. It's so funny. I mean, Maybe I, you'll start to. Occasionally we'll look for her to like see what kids we need to have, but yeah. I, I never figure out what I'm going to do. I like to live in the moment. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. <sighs> so pretty. There's such a specific smell here too, in a good way. Everyone got here today. It's Saturday. I think a lot of people did arrive today. So cute. Holy moly. That is wild. The poor bell staff. That is wild. Rivals of the parking, but it's a lot of something. Yeah. Uh, of course, it's raining. So we got uh, the stroller all covered up. We got our raincoats on. Like covered her. Yeah. Holding it over her feet. I've got my poncho on, but honestly, it's not that bad. And I was just telling well, Jessica, we'd have good. to. It's the heat. Yeah. Take it. Well, I was just telling Jessica we'd have to pay extra for this at Typhoon Lagoon, so you know, I consider this a win. Wine Bar George only got a little bit wet, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, but uh, uh, oh, you've got she's got all her pennies <laughs> laid out. Right. We'll have to get some Disney Springs pennies while we're here. But uh, I don't know if I mentioned this yet. I've heard really, really good things about this brunch, so I am very excited. And this restaurant's really cool looking. You can kind of see. Uh, so there's uh, Jock Lindsay's hangar bar out there. Um, you can kind of see. There's some really cool. Uh, uh, oh here. You can see like Morimoto Asia out our window there. Like you can see uh, Raglan Road back yeah. there. So it's a really cool restaurant. I hope they kind of lift these up here in a little bit because it's not too sunny, but. Also, um, we just saw as we were passing Raglan Road very quickly that uh, they have a brunch too. And I was like, we might have to try that next time. All right, drinks have been acquired. Uh, I got coffee and then I got this thing called the Hoot, which is Hooten Young American Whiskey aged 12 years. Uh, G.E. Massonet creme de cassis and a splash of ginger beer. It was discovered by master sommelier George Miliotes. So you know it's good. Uh, I got then, the wake up call. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, I was hoping it was a warm coffee drink. And now bigger. I'm just, now I just want that. It's supposed to be just bigger and different. different. No, no. Yeah, yours is espresso infused bar salt pisco. Cafe Borghetti espresso liqueur. So, okay, well, I, I hope it was hot. <laughs> I've made a grave mistake. You're so good at inventing games, Gigi. She invented this one. Um, you have one with Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell? Holy moly. Chicken, Chicken biscuit. biscuit. Yeah. Biscuits and gravy. These cocktails. Hot dog. <laughs> These cocktails are awesome. Yeah. Also, they better be at this price and this size. Uh, but the uh, the fruit also is all good fruit. Like, I feel like a lot of times yeah, it's Sometimes it's hard to, yeah. It's actually good fruit. Guys, we're having a time. We just wanted a peaceful breakfast. Too much to ask, can't have that. The line for Gideon's always so, so, so long. I know we've mentioned this before, but we've made the Gideon's Bakehouse cookies, the recipes just online. And uh, well, for like their chocolate chip, obviously there's many different kinds of cookies they make, but uh, you can make it at home for a fraction of the price. And for the amount of time you wait in line, 
you could just make the cookies yourself and, have <laughs> and then have a dozen of them or whatever. Anyway, very uh, good though, but that To line... be fair, we have not actually tried it yet. Usually, yes. Usually so we're like, we're pretty well, sure so it's I right. Yeah. So that was really good. Yes. Everything we got was good. Even like the like the coleslaw, which usually is like something I don't even really like. I'll maybe try a bite of it and then just leave it. That was really good. So like everything, like every flavor was extremely good. I'm, yeah, I was chicken very that I happy with that meal. Biscuit was great. Yours was very good. I, yeah. I take I, back what I said on the drink. It was delicious and it did wake me up, which was very nice. So, yeah. Early afternoon coffee run. Got a venti cold brew and a couple waters. Now, we Disney Springs. First stop, the candy cauldron. Under the guise of doing it for Gigi, but really, it's for us. <laughs> Such a cauldron. Ooh. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Right. I did promise, though. Yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, that's sugar. This is sugar. What's really the difference, you know? Sugar. What form? What form do you want? A fluffy? Got it. All right, so we're not getting anything here right now, but my gosh, are they beautiful. Look, look, at, look at that. That's incredible. <laughs> okay, we uh, were only in there for about mm, two minutes because taking the beast here in uh, that candy cauldron was, uh, it was a lot. <laughs> There's very little room in there. I feel like it used to be bigger. I, I could be wrong. Uh, but uh, yeah, carrying the, the big old stroller in there was not easy. So we went in for a second and now we're out and then uh, Jessica's in there buying the cotton candy. That took was the target acquired though? Boom. Target was acquired. Most importantly. We're off. Yeah. Oh boy. I'm starting to regret the apple juice. <laughs> yeah, well, here we are. We're on vacation. What do you think, Leslie? Do you want some cotton candy? Said no. You haven't eaten this in a long time. I got too sweepy right now. Maybe later. Try it. Just get a little piece at first. Yeah. It like melts in your mouth, doesn't it? Yeah. I bet you. Is it good? Do I remember the first time I had cotton candy? I was like 12. I had never had it until then. We were at like a Disney on Ice show or something like that. Maybe I wasn't 12. Disney I was, but, strikes again. But I was at like I was like eight before I ever had it, and then I tried it. I'm like, what, what is this? I, I guess I don't really remember when the world. Yeah, it was I, at. I just uh, like had always known of it. You yeah, know? yeah, but we never bought it. I just for but yeah, then that one time I got it, and it was so good. Mine was probably at like a church festival. I would bet a million dollars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Gigi? Good. Good. All right, we're in Disney style. Look. I want that Adventurers Club t-shirt so badly they don't have my size i know i was like do i get it there it is they only have small anyway uh they only have i mean in theory my size kind of but i don't need any more t-shirts that is so cool all right change of plans we were going to be here for a little bit longer and then go to it's animal that's kingdom that's i know but we decided because we had, we would have to take a minivan from here to animal kingdom and it closes at eight tonight uh, that we're gonna go instead to Animal Kingdom in a couple days um, and then switch around things on that day. But then uh, today we're gonna go back to our hotel and swim and baby. swim because it's really hot. And, and we also that's just wanna spend time at the hotel. We're like, right. we just wanna like watch the movie we, tonight yeah. they have on the lawn and yeah. like, just be there. And it might it might rain and they won't do the, the movie. But either way, we wanna just spend time at the Polynesian because that's one of the biggest things is when you pay a lot of money to stay in these hotels and then you don't spend much time there. You know, it's kind of a shame. So we uh, are going to spend the rest of the evening at our hotel, and I'm quite I excited about that. Really enjoy the Polynesian. I just had to call and cancel our Tusker House uh, reservation that we had for this evening because I couldn't modify it to uh, a couple days in the future. There was no availability. So I was trying to cancel it on the app, and usually you can't cancel it within 24 hours. And I know the whole history, and that makes sense to me because people were booking multiple reservations, and then things were filling up, but then people weren't showing up. So I no I understand the whole reasoning behind, uh, you know, the whole system, but. I tried to cancel on the app. It wouldn't let me cancel it, said I had to call. So I called and then I had to spend five minutes on the phone talking to a robot and typing in the confirmation number. And then it said, okay, I've got that canceled for you. I'm like, well, what's the difference between me talking to a robot or using the robot on my phone? I'm like, it wasn't like somebody was making a decision. Yeah, and I'm like, I was trying to do the right thing by canceling it so you people could pick it up later if they wanted. But anyway, I'm like, what does it matter if I do it on the, at that point, what does it matter if I do it on the app or why do I have to type it into a phone system instead? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. That's all. Got to cancel. Right. Two things. Jessica was just talking about, oh my gosh, she, she just loves her pennies. And I was like, I she really, really does. Guys. And Jessica said, it's worth every penny. And anyway, then <laughs> both of us left. Uh, but also I was thinking about it and we were just talking about how nowadays you cannot book because the way the system is, is all online. You can't book more than one reservation at a time, uh, like for a certain time slot. So like if you have one within an hour or so, it will say, you already have a reservation during this time. Would you like to cancel that so you can book the new one? So you can't even have multiple reservations anymore. 
So really this whole 24 hour before system is just kind of a nuisance. Get somebody on the phone. I gotta talk to somebody. <laughs> we need to make a change. Look at this cute swimsuit girl. <laughs> yeah. Are you sad or happy? She says, I don't know. Felicity's first time ever in a pool and she's already mostly asleep. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I am pro swimming pool. Are <laughs> right, you gonna play sheepy sheepy? What do you think, Felicity? Do you like it? She said, I just got to swipe. <laughs> She's like, this is proven. Think about it. It's like a waterbed. Yeah. She's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what was that? Hold me for just now. Oh, just hold you? Yeah. In the pool? You don't want to swim? Yeah, just hold me. You want me to just hold you? Okay. Come here, you. <laughs> you got me. Well, we had about 30 minutes or so of uh, some awesome pool time. And uh, <laughs> they blew the whistle. And he's like, all right, everybody out of the pool, storm's coming. And I swear, the second he blew that whistle, boy, it was torrentially downpouring like it is right now. So uh, <laughs> we literally, of course, we were already wet from the pool, but all of our stuff got soaking wet that was sitting out by the pool, t-shirts and towels and all that stuff. Luckily, we didn't have too far to walk, but we uh, we rushed back inside, and now we're going to get uh, changed and dried and all that stuff, let the rain pass for a little bit. Uh, may go down to the uh, lounge here in a few minutes, but... Uh, <laughs> I'm just dying because the second he blew that whistle, he said, everybody out. It was this level of rain. It just started pouring. We've hit that point in the trip. Time for laundry. Yep, there's a little bit of rain here. <laughs> All right, laundry has been started. And on our way back to our room, I'm gonna tell you guys about one of my all-time favorite uh, bits of Polynesian legendary lore slash actual history. Okay, to give you an idea of where we are, this is the, the main lobby right here, the great ceremonial house. There's Captain Cook's, Ohana's up there, right? Okay, so if you're sitting in this like grassy area here, turn this way, this building right here. This is Samoa. Samoa used to be called Hawaii. And the, like, I don't know, 10 or 15 years ago, they changed the names around so that the, the names of these buildings more geographically uh, were correct in the, uh, you know, as far as like what the actual Hawaiian Islands are. So this building is called Samoa. And in one of these rooms, we're not sure which room, as far as I know, I, I don't think they know exactly which room. Uh, in one of these first floor rooms here, we know it was a first floor room, John Lennon of the Beatles officially signed the papers to end the Beatles. So there was like a three, four year, something like contentious debate uh, about, you know, money and all that kind of stuff and contractual ob obligations, whatever. So that all uh, was finally done. And they were supposed to go to New York to sign all these papers. I think one of them was in London. Then the rest of the, the three were supposed to be in, uh, uh, in New York. But they, John, for whatever reason, couldn't go to New York. So he was here and he was with his girlfriend at the time. It was not Yoko Ono, uh, his a girlfriend, Jackie, or something like that. I can't remember the name. Um, but, uh, and his son were here and he looked out over Seven Seas Lagoon. And uh, she has this great story where she talks about how he was basically like looking out before he signed these papers. And she's like, he could, she could almost see him replaying um, all the history of the Beatles in his head uh, in one of these rooms right here, looking out and then signed the papers to officially end the Beatles, the greatest rock band of all time. Right here at Disney's Polynesian Resort. Tonight they have mini cheeseburgers, fried duck leg, chicken wellington. Jessica's already had the chicken wellington, so she said it was really good. And tuna and pepper horn. Oh my goodness, all these look good. We're gonna go switch our laundry and try to go to Trader Sam's and we found this bunny. What a cutie bunny. Hi bunny. <laughs> We're doing following the leader. <laughs> All right, I was telling Tyler, my hair is like half pool water, half hairspray, half dry shampoo. Like, I can't wait to shower tonight. Anyway, 
The rain has stopped for two seconds, so we are going to switch laundry. So we're gonna go switch it to the dryer and then, like I said, try to get into Trader Sam's. We've actually not been to this one. We've been to the one in Disneyland, uh, but not this one. And every time we've ever tried to go, like it has to be in a certain window, like it has to be before 8 p.m. if you wanna bring kids. After 8 p.m. it's 21 and over, so it's like seven now. So we're gonna try to get in. We'll see, I have a feeling the line will be long and we won't be able to and that's okay. But uh, yeah, and then we're just planning on chilling. We might get some like to-go food orders and uh, she wants to go to the press penny machine here and get some more pennies for her little thing, which is cute. Gift shop it up and just chill. It sinks that it's raining, no surprise because we wanted to do the little like movie. So I'm hoping there's, they'll still play the movie, I don't know. I haven't looked at the forecast in the last hour, so we'll see. There they go. And also, <laughs> I told Tyler, I was like, well, I hope no one steals them because they're not going back to the room, so I'm just gonna hang these to dry here. <laughs> and he always says, our rule of thumb is, if someone takes them, they must need them more than we do. If they steal these dresses, what are the odds that they're my exact size? <laughs> it's happening. These are all like Moana ones. They press the penny, they heat it up and squish it with the shapes on there, with the template. It's kind of like a stamp in a way. We have gotten all of the pennies we can find. We're just looking out. It's so cool to see out from here. I love this hotel. Okay, I have two other fun facts unrelated to the John Lennon thing, although I think that's the coolest thing about the Polynesian is that that happened here, right over there. So my other two fun facts are uh, just about us. The first one is just about us. And that is the fact that we met Rachel Dratch of SNL slash a million other things, fame, sitting on that couch a couple years ago. Yep. And she was the nicest person ever. And I kept telling Jessica and my mom, I was like, Rachel Dratch is sitting right there. And they were like, we're going to go talk to her. I was like, please don't go talk to her. I'm like, she's like here with her. She was here with the family. She had her kids with her. I was like, please. I'm like, it's just cool that she's here, but please don't talk to her. And of course, my mom and Jessica did not heed my advice. and went and talked to her. And she was the nicest person ever. And it's cool because I just read a book about SNL and she was being interviewed in it and all that kind of stuff. But I'm like, it's so cool that I met her at the Polynesian right there sitting on that couch. And she was very kind. Yes, yeah, she was. And then I'll share my other piece of fun fact about Polynesian here in a little bit. Uh, this might happen. We love Joffrey's coffee. The Kona blend, very fitting, and it's whole bean, which our machine, like that's what it takes. <laughs> Sounds funny, but you know what I mean. That's awesome. This may happen. It's so expensive. So. I might look it up on the uh, Joffrey site because they have like all of the different Disney things and usually it's a little bit cheaper. It's worth noting that these right here are chocolate covered sandwich cookies, i.e. Oreos. My mother, <laughs> she should be like, <laughs> not suing them, but you know what I mean? She always made Oreos dipped in chocolate at the holiday time in December. And uh, yeah, honestly, they're too rich for me, but it's funny that they're selling them now. So we have had the greatest night with cast members. We got some more Lay's, a rainbow one and a purple one. She gave us some crayons and a little coloring book about safety with Pumbaa and Timon, which just makes me happy. It's been a really awesome little lobby night. 